Look, you guys. Look. I didn't think it was going to happen. But here they are. Oh my gosh, they can jump like crazy. I don't know why they decided to hatch, but look. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Oh, he jumped. Oh, hey. Look at how cute you are. There's so many of them. Well, that's really exciting seeing all those little guys. They're so cute. They're definitely moving around and finding their territories, I think. Excuse my hair. I still haven't cut it. And it's a little bit messy and unruly today. But I went out and got my seed starting tray yesterday. I took today off of work because next week is Valentine's week and it's going to be very busy. None of us can take a day off. That entire week, we're even working on Sundays. We're normally closed on Sundays. And next Wednesday was supposed to be my day off. So I decided to go ahead and take today off since I'm not gonna be getting a day off for a while. And my boyfriend is working on patching a piece of the roof and wall in our bedroom. So I'm gonna be helping him out with that a little later. But in the meantime, we're gonna be starting some more seeds. So I got just a 50 cell Jiffy um, seed starting tray and it comes with one, two, three, five of these little peat trays um, that are biodegradable. You can actually plant, you know, straight from the cell, take the cell apart and plant it in the ground if you wanted to. It also comes with a lid to keep the humidity up and a tray so you can bottom water. It also came with a few um, tags and some Super Thrive for seedlings, which seedlings really don't need Super Thrive, but you can use this for, for when they get a little bigger. I also got a five gallon bucket while I was there been wanting to get some anyway I want to use the you know because we have a water hose it's kind of a walk from my plant room so now I could just fill that bucket up and I'll have water in here I went ahead and watered all the seedlings that I started the other day now that I've got my 50 little spots I can start all the seeds I wanted to start the other day and couldn't so I'm, I'm kind of excited about that I have to be careful because these little tiny praying mantises, like I said, are getting everywhere. I found a couple on the floor already. I'm sure I'm going to lose some, especially given that there are frogs and lizards living in here. So kind of I'm just letting nature, you know, take place like it normally would. Some of them I'm probably going to eat each other. Some of them are probably going to be eaten by my pest control team. I'm just hoping that some of them survive and can be part of the pest control team or whatever. I'm not sure, but I did find a couple that were already on the floor that were at risk of getting stepped on. So I moved them back up onto the shelf. We'll um, turn the camera around so you can see what I'm doing. So I think what I'm going to do first is put some water in here. Then I will put my trays in. This one got crushed at the store, but it's fine. We'll put these in and let them soak up some water. And then I'll put soil in each of the pots and probably add some more water so the soil gets nice and moist. And while that's taking place, let's look at what we're going to plant. My heater got it up to 107 in here yesterday because it was cold the previous two days and I had it running. It was cold when I went to work yesterday and then um, it warmed up while I was at work and when I got, by the time I got home, it was 107 in here. 
which I think may be what stimulated the, um, the praying mantises to hatch. Most of what I'm going to try to start are the seeds that I showed you in the last video, but in case you didn't see that one, I'll just go over them quickly. We've got the dwarf Taylor bean, blue lake pole bean, yellow wonder sweet pepper, cayenne pepper, habanero lemon, peppercini, blue lake bush bean, jubilee watermelon, Hale's best jumbo cantaloupe, Armenian yard long cucumber, National Pickling, Tigerella Tomato, Triple Crop, Rutgers, Sheboygan, Tropical Sunset, Red Burgundy Okra, Hill Country Red, some Rosemary, Holy Basil or, or Tulsi, Parsley from Dollar Seed, Black Turtle Beans, um, honey rock melon and sugar baby watermelon and then I also have some more <clears throat> that I think I'm going to try to start as well that were not in the last video some Italian oregano lemon balm forage mostly for the pollinators or solely for the pollinators and then I have three kinds of chives here one from in my gardener one from Haas tools and one from Dollar Seed. So I've got 50 holes in my trays and like 30 seeds. So I've got plenty of space to start all the ones I want to start. So I'm going to get the soil in here now and we'll start planting. You can't do anything without making a mess. I'm going to use one of my little cups to just dump the soil in here. not to make a huge mess but we'll see how that goes I love these little bags of seed starting mix it's so light and fluffy it's perfect for the little seeds because um, if you use like <clears throat> regular garden soil or top soil or black cow sometimes the seeds can have trouble you know they only have so much energy stored up in them and if they have to fight a really heavy or chunky mix they might not sprout so this is really light right now it doesn't look that way because I did wet it yesterday or the day before I can't remember when I filmed that video um, I think it was the day before and it's not completely dried out so it does look a little chunkier because it got wet but um yeah it's a really light and fluffy mix <clears throat> and I've had a lot of success in years past with getting it to work though more recently maybe not and I heard a rumor that they were doing something to our soil a conspiracy I guess it would really be they're doing something to our soil to prevent us from being able to grow seeds at home or grow food at home but um I don't know maybe it was just a bad batch that was going around who knows <clears throat> but anyway prior to that I've always had really good success with this stuff and um yeah so now I'll just smooth it out Make sure everybody's filled up, pull out any chunks that accidentally made their way. That's a chunk of sphagnum moss, I believe. Any chunks that accidentally made their way into the bag. I'm struggling a bit with a little bit of anxiety today that I think, I don't know, mostly comes from me taking the day off, even though it's fine, and I know it's fine. I've talked to my boss about this, um, 
I still feel guilty. I still feel a lot of guilt for taking the day off. And also maybe I'm thinking a little bit of this feeling comes from a change in my routine. So I usually work every day, Monday through Friday and sometimes Saturdays and I have a little routine. And when I, you know, step away from that routine and take a day off during the week, it feels a little weird. So I'm feeling like a little bit like I'm doing something wrong today, even though I know I'm not. Um, but I'm hoping that as the day goes on, I will get over that and uh, I'll get a lot accomplished today. I want to get these started. I want to <clears throat> get my room kind of cleaned up. We've got to move some things out of the way so that while he's working on that patchwork, um, everything's not getting <clears throat> messy. And then I think we're going to rearrange the room a little bit and make it a little more comfortable. And I don't know what else I want to accomplish today. Might do some more trimming of trees and bushes around the yard. The yard is looking really nice. And um, I don't know, we'll see what else I can get into. It's already 10 o'clock. If I was at work today, it would still be 8.30. I just know it. The time moves differently when you're, you know, enjoying yourself. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. I do enjoy myself at work. But the days do seem to go by a lot faster when you're at home or, you know, have a day off is what I'm trying to get. Okay, so these are pretty full. Looking good, looking good. Now I am just going to add some more water. Soak all these pretty well. Shall we do first? I'll do a sugar baby watermelon. Oh man, I need labels. Okay, so since these uh, cells are quite small for the the big seeds, I'm only going to plant one seed per cell. And for things like the watermelon cantaloupe, um, I'll probably do two or three plants, maybe four, to, you know, uh, increase my chances of actually getting something out of it. And then for the smaller things, like my chives and stuff like that, I'll probably just do one cell with a bunch of seeds in them. Okay. So I actually have way more cells than I need at the moment. There are a few things I would still like to get to try to grow this year. And there's really not a whole lot of space for me to... I didn't think this through, but I'm going to get it done either way. Okay. Alright. Got our basil. Gonna sprinkle on the top. That's probably way more than I need. Yeah. Some pepperoncini. I actually thought about waiting till I um. It's probably a little too early to start peppers. Is what I'm trying to get out. I could use a heat mat, but I don't have one right now. Um, so I'm only going to try starting a few. Same goes for the watermelons and cantaloupe and things like that that typically grow better in the really hot months. I'm just going to try starting a few. And if they don't work out, I'll try starting a few. Again, in a few months. And as far as the peppers go, I do need to get a heat mat because typically... I find that I need one of those to get those started. I'm only doing two of the hot peppers right now because um, if they both take off I really don't need that much hot pepper. Actually I could probably do a few more because um, we all kind of like spicy stuff. My boyfriend's brother really likes spicy. So maybe um, 
could do more. This is the cayenne. Um, I'm going to be using this as a seasoning pepper if I can get these to sprout. And the yellow wonder sweet pepper I would like to have lots of because I love cooking with peppers. Um, there's nothing quite like a caramelized pepper and onion mix to go on or with almost anything. I'm only going to try a couple of these Tigerella tomato seeds. So far I haven't had these sprout at all. A couple of these tropical sunset. I really wish I had some um, what are the ones that I really like? Sunset Orange? No. Sun Gold by Wild Boar Farms. I really love those, but I used all the seeds and I don't have any to try to start this year. I decided I was going to try the Common Time by the Dollar Seed just to see if it comes up better for me than the one I got from um, Hostels. These are super tiny. All right, well, where did I put that one common time? Right there. Hopefully I can get some of these, one or the other to sprout. I love thyme. And then I decided to also try the spinach by Dollar Seed. I'd really like, like I said in the last video, in case you didn't see that one, the basil, spinach, and thyme are the three key ingredients or, you know, um, plant, what am I trying to say, in a recipe I really, really like. And I can't always find what I need in the store, so I try to grow it instead. That's probably way too many of those. I'm also going to try some oregano. Wow. Look how tiny. Herbs are supposedly so easy. <laughs> they do not like working for me. I've tried so many times in so many ways and I just haven't had any success starting herbs. Actually, I find for me, a lot of the things that are supposed to be really easy aren't. Got some lemon balm. Orange. These seeds are actually a really good size. Didn't get the soil flat enough. They're all just falling in the same spot. I'll push them all down into the soil and stuff once I finish all this. We got the chives from MI Gardener. I'm going to start chives from all three places to see which one does better. These are much bigger than the other chive seeds. 
and then floss. These are even bigger. I wonder if these are all different kinds of chives. I love chives too. Um, and then the ones from Dollar Seed. I had all of these arranged in order and then started moving them around and they're all mixed up now but that's okay so flat leaf parsley by dollar seed where are you right there Some holy basil. And rosemary. Triple crop tomato. Rutgers. Shaboyan. On to the okra. We've got red burgundy. Can't believe I spent my whole life not eating okra. Because I was scared of it. I love this stuff now. Red burgundy. Right there. Hill Country Red. National pickling cucumber. I'm going to be testing all these <clears throat> cucumbers against one another to see which ones are the best for pickling and eating fresh and things like that. National pickling. Where are you at? Where are you at? Right there. American yard long. You guys want to see a better view of what I'm doing? Maybe I can get it for you. At least then you can kind of see what's going on in there a little bit, maybe. All right, blue like bush beans. I'm only going to do two of these in each one. Blue like pole beans. Might do three of these. The black beans. And I miss my old garden. 
I had so many plants going. Not that I had a whole heck of a lot of success, but I just had plants on plants on plants. I was constantly planting something. Uh, the dwarf Taylor beans. I'm going to try these because I think when they cook down, they're a lot like um, chili beans or kidney beans. And if that's the case, then they will go in one of my recipes. My taco soup I really enjoy. Okay, on to the melons. So, honey rock. couple of these in the cell. Three will be fine. Hill's best. And last but not least, the watermelons. So Jubilee. And sugar baby. I've only ever successfully grown one watermelon. And we picked it too soon, so it was not sweet at all. Okay, there we go. Everybody's in. All these spaces are open. I can still plant other things. And I just need to go through now and push these guys down in the soil and or cover them up with more. And then we'll be all good to go. All right, everybody is covered. Now all that's left to do is wait. And hopefully these guys will sprout. In the meantime, I have a huge mess to clean up. All my seeds everywhere. There's one of my pest control members. He's on the hunt this morning. Hey guy, how you doing? Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me as I did this. Always enjoy your company. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.